A lot of people don't know how to handle the disrespect and the hate when they start preaching out for Jesus and these people call them all sorts of names, you know, they're following a demon or um, they're rejecting the Bible or um, they're just haters of God's true church or, or whatever. There's a lot of people that mix up what the true message is. And when you're preaching the true message for Jesus, people will try to mess it up. And it's not really those people who are trying to mess up and twist the message. It is the demons that are influencing these people. It is our job to continue to speak truth and speak against deception and lies, but it is not our job to hate these people or to disrespect them in any way. It's our job to point all people to the truth. Now, if there's a person who continues to just hate your message and gossip behind your back and say all these things that are false, you don't need to put up with it. And I want to read you this passage. It's from Titus. And, and Titus puts it much more bluntly than I ever would, but this is what he says. This is Titus 3. I start in verse 9. He says, Avoid foolish controversies and strife and disputes about the law, for they are unprofitable and they are worthless. Then he goes on. He says, Reject a factious man after a first and a second warning, knowing that such a man is perverted and is sinning and is self-condemned. If you know someone is just speaking to you to create problems, and you know that he is speaking directly against the Holy Spirit, you reject that. You don't continue to try to debate that person. Those debates are completely worthless. Speak the truth, continue to preach the truth, but don't go into a debate with someone who is worthlessly debating. Read this passage, take it to Jesus. We always need to be seeking the Holy Spirit's guidance and how to respond. Always do it in love, but you do not need to respond to worthless arguments. May the grace of Jesus be with you.